Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Once again we are joined by top barbecue chef Mr Richard Holden. Hello. And we are showing you how to save time, how to save oven space on Christmas Day. Absolutely. And in this video we're going to show you how to do pigs in blanket, everybody's favourite. Yeah, got to have them on the Christmas table. On a Weber Master Touch charcoal grill. So Richard, pigs in blankets, not a lot of prep. Really, really simple. Get some chipolata sausages from the butchers, get some streaky bacon. Streaky bacon's about that long, chop it in half. That's enough bacon to just wrap around each, each sausage. Um, some butchers out there, the chipolata sausages are a little bit longer, just judge the bacon accordingly. But just put them onto the perforated uh, grill basket and we're ready to go to the barbecue. Could not be simpler. So what we need to do is the barbecue's already set up for 200 degrees C. Uh, we've set it up for indirect cooking, so we've got heat in the left, nothing in the right. We're going to roast these off because if you were cooking these at home in the oven, although why would you? You would do them in the oven as opposed to on the hob. So we're going to roast them in exactly the same way, lid down, and we're going to give those about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. We'll come back, we'll check, uh, check the core temperature using a digital temperature probe, make sure that they are cooked. If they're not 75, we'll give them a bit more time. But essentially, as soon as we have a good selection of 75 degree temperatures from across that grill basket, they're cooked. So we'll come back in 20 minutes. So back to our pigs in blankets. Let's have a look. Look at them. Beautiful color on them. Let's just have a quick temperature probe. So we're looking for 75. Sausages, any minced products all the yep. way through cooked. 75, we're good to go with that. So that can just go down there. And then off they come. And you know what? People worry about warm spots and, and cooler spots on your barbecue, but I think they're pretty evenly coloured. Nice cook on those. They look good. Not going to bite into one straight away because they're going to be a little bit toasty, but. Um, Pigs and blankets cooked on your barbecue at Christmas. There's enough for me and you there. There is. There is film crew. I don't know what you're going to manage with, but um, you know, we'll figure something out for you. So we'll just remove these from the tray. So that's another dish we've done. We've saved time, we've saved oven space. You know, it's one of those things you can cook outside. We've done it on a master switch, you can do it on a gas grill. Absolutely. Yep. Gas, charcoal makes a difference. Get them cooked off and um, happy days. They can even cook while the turkey's resting. Yeah. You know, there's, there's no... You've got people, an, hour, an hour and a half resting your turkey. People underestimate how long you can actually let turkeys rest for, or even roast the meat in general. Yeah. Um, if you, as long as you keep it well insulated and warmed, um, or warm, in a warm spot, it will, it, you can let them rest for as, almost as long as you've cooked them for. And by that, what I mean is, if you put the, if you put the roast onto a warm serving plate, onto a wooden chopping board, cover it with some tin foil, a couple of tea towels to insulate it, then that will be plenty of time to keep that nice and warm while you go off and cook pigs and blankets, stuffing, whatever else you need to do. No problem. So if you want to see how we've cooked uh, the information about doing a pig and blanket, there's not really any recipe for There isn't for really a recipe for this. This it's is just chipolata wrapped, wrapped in bacon. bacon. If you want to know more information about cooking any Christmas dishes on a barbecue, visit the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. Uh, information about the recipes we are cooking for Christmas on our website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. If you do create any of these dishes, please share it with us across our social media platforms. We're always interested to see what people are cooking, how Absolutely. brave they're being, if they're you know, getting out there on Christmas Day and cooking their uh, Christmas dinner. I said dinner. I wasn't going to taste this on camera because they're going to be too warm and I'm going to give it a try, so I'll let you finish off. Anyway, we'll see you next time and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.